Hey guys, this is Bist Reviews and welcome to my channel and today I'm back with another Barbie Basics review and on today's episode of Reviews I have 2009 Barbie Basics Collection 1.5 Model Number 13 So yeah, she's one of the dolls, I mean one of the four dolls from this collection because this collection had a very limited amount of models and she is one of the dolls I only liked in this collection because uh, model number 13 was not available in any of the collection any of the other Barbie basics collections so I knew I had to get her so yeah let's begin with this review so like every other Barbie basics uh, collection one dolls she has the totally transparent box and also we can see more of the pink accent in this box with black so yeah on this side we have this black piece with a pink line and it says a uh, Barbie basics and totally captioned and in the middle, it says model number 13, collection 1.5. And down here, we can see it says Barbie collector, black label. And in here is this gorgeously looking Barbie doll. And she's in front of this pink background, which has Barbie basics all over. On this side, it says when all else fails, it's by Tori Birch. And down here, there are a few details about the Council of Fashion Designers of America. And also, it says post your basic creations and get inspired at barbiecollector.com, the most collectible doll in the world. And we have the numbers and there's the Mattel. So on the back of the box, we can see it says Barbie Basics and it says customize, personalize, play. And we have models from the collection one. And here are the exclusive four of the models from collection 1.5. We have Mackie, Steffi, BB and Barbie. So yeah, I, I only found uh, the BB doll and Barbie doll to be, you know, looking good in here. But I do like Steffi's outfit as well. So down here it says dolls sold separately, subject to be availability. Colors and decoration may vary for the adult collector. Dolls cannot stand alone. Dolls stand included and made in Indonesia. And at the bottom of the box we can see it shows a few of the details of, you know, the product details and proof of purchase and so on. So, let us take this Barbie out of the box and have a better look on her. So, before we look at the Barbie doll, let's see what she came with. So, she came with a certificate of authenticity and this model muse stand, this closed base model muse stand. But this model muse stand is a little bit different. It has a different kind of holder and it's kind of thinner than other model muse stand. So, let me compare. The stand on the right is from the Barbie Basics Collection 1.5 stand. And the one in the left is the uh, City Shine ones from the Barbie Look Collection. So as you can see, the City Shine stand is a bit thicker and it has kind of a different holder up there, as you can see in here. And as for this one, it has another holder and it's so much thinner. It's kind of thicker. So yeah, let's see what the certificate says. So it says Certificate of Authenticity Barbie Basics Doll. Uh, this certifies that your Barbie Basics doll was created by designers and artists at Mattel, Barbie Collector, Black Label. On the right side, it says Copyright 2009 Mattel Inc. All Rights Reserved. On the left, we have all the numbers. So let us take a look at this Barbie doll now. So we have this amazingly beautiful pixie haircut Barbie doll. So yeah, let us begin with her face. So she uses the Generation Girl CEO face mold, which is one of my favorite face molds in Barbie history I would say. So yeah, she has this beautiful green eyes with, I don't know, kind of has a blue shade to it. And she has a thick liner with long lashes and she has golden eyeshadow on her lids. And um, on top of that, it has a grayer eyeshadow. And on top of that, we have a very light purple eyeshadow. So she has a really, really red lips. As for her hair, she has this side parted pixie haircut, which is like totally hard right now because it's totally gelled. And she has a texture going on in her hair. She has blacks and browns mixed in her hair. So as for her body, she uses this both of her hands bent model muse body with her right leg bent. So as for her dress, she has this very chic black dress and it has a very big poof on the side and it is a one shoulder dress and the material is a bit different from the collection one barbie dolls this feels more like i don't know very the jacket material i would say i don't know the actual name of it 
As for her accessories, she has this hot pink band with a buckle in it, and it looks really nice. And also, her fingernails are painted the same shade as her lips, and both of her hands are painted. And the dress looks really stunning. It has creases. And the dress looks like this from the back, and it is fastened with two clip-ons. As for her shoes, she has this gladiator shoes. It has straps and buttons and the button details have been separated with, you know, silver paint. It looks really nice on her. And also her toenails are painted the same shade as so her lips as well. So here's my 2009 Barbie Basics Collection 1.5 model number 13 doll. So when I have to recommend this doll, I would say yes, go for it because Barbie basic stalls are really amazing. They will give you a variety of face molds, you know, high fashion dress, and so very unique accessories. So if you liked my review, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you love Barbie dolls, please subscribe me because I would be posting more Barbie doll reviews. And also follow me on Instagram. I would be posting my collection out there as well. And also what I have uploaded on YouTube as well. So yes, yeah, stay tuned for more of the reviews and thank you so much for watching.